Hi there, welcome to the Upcycled Design Lab. If you're new here, my name's Cindy and I craft using recycled and repurposed materials to give you ideas on ways to make and create more economically and ecologically. And today I'm going to share seven ideas that you can use to organize your closet using repurposed Dollar Tree items and a few things from my recycle bin. So we live in an older home which comes with, of course, smaller closets. And this closet in particular has had this kind of weird metal rack in the middle. So you can see that it's nothing fancy here, but this is kind of prime hanging space. But since all these shelves are here, we've just left them. And so I've tried to find ways to utilize the shelves. And then I also had these cheap little particle board shelves as well that I had my shoes on, but they're kind of large for that purpose. But I'm leaving this stuff here and I'm just kind of seeing what I can do to get a little better organization and a little nicer look for my closet. So the first thing I did was I found some boxes that hold reams of paper. They were just the perfect size to fit on these shelves. I did need to cut them down a little bit to make them a little smaller. And then I just taped them back together and covered them with some Dollar Tree contact paper. They did need a little bit of taping and they needed to be secured in a couple of places. I used a little bit of double-sided tape and some other tape to hold the whole thing together. And then I printed out some labels on my inkjet printer and made some tags for each of the boxes. I also had a little bit of extra contact paper that I used to cover some cardboard to fill in the sides for a shelf where I put my jeans. The final box I have, I just put at the bottom to collect my extra hangers because I don't like empty hangers hanging in my closet. So I just chose to paint the bottom box with some black acrylic paint. My second project was to make some little divider tags for my hanging clothes. And to do that, I just used some cereal box cardboard, a little bit of magazine paper glued to the top, some more printed labels, a couple of large jump rings, and then I purchased some Dollar Tree shower curtain rings to hang them. This next idea is super simple and I'm using it in conjunction with my closet divider tags. I decided that I wanted to set some things up as outfits rather than just pants, skirts, dresses, things like that. So I made a tag for outfits and then to separate them I'm using some plastic rings from a six pack and just cutting off two rings. You probably could use one but I just wanted the extra strength of having two of them. And then I'm just hanging them over my hangers and hooking my outfits together. So I have a lot of different shirts that I wear with this pair of pants. So I, what I like about this is you can just kind of hook all of them together and then hang the pants off of there or you could drape the shirts down, however you want to do it. It holds quite a few things and it kind of just groups things together in nice little packages to make separate outfits. And save hanging space in your closet. So this is the shelf where I keep all of my purses and bags and they're always just kind of thrown up there and toppling over. So I wanted a better way to organize them and I saw some plastic shelf dividers that you can buy but I was kind of looking for a cheaper alternative and I found these 8x10 picture frames at the Dollar Tree. And so my plan is to just tape them. You could probably also use big clips to clip them on if you wanted to be able to move them around. But we just happen to have some alien tapes, so I'm going to attach them with some alien tape and place them on the shelf here to separate my purses and keep them a little more tidy.
This next idea is a way to organize your scarves or tights. And to make this, I just used some metal tape and the top ring of aluminum cans. I have a tool called the draft top that you can take the lids off of aluminum cans and then by cutting and bending the rest of the metal, you can get down to just the metal ring. And then I used two rings taped together and taped to a hanger to make this organizer for my scarves and tights. Now, if you don't have a draft top and you don't wanna worry about aluminum cans, I did also find these book rings at the Dollar Tree and you could use them in a similar fashion. If you have boots in your closet, then you know they fall over if you don't have boot trees. And my idea for a boot tree is to use three tin cans. First, I use a safety can opener to remove the tops so that they can be placed back on the can and the cans can be stacked together. Then I used some metal tape to tape the three cans together. You could also use duct tape. And finally, I put some E6000 glue on the top lid to hold it securely. Or you can add a little piece of duct tape and have a secret hiding spot in the top part of your boot tree. on these little cube shelves. And there's really just too much space here. So I found these little dish racks at, again, at the Dollar Tree, and they fit just perfectly into the cube and allow you to put two pairs of shoes on the shelf instead of just one. So that's it for today's video. I hope you found some good inspiration here and a few ideas that you can use to organize your closet. If you enjoyed today's content, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't already, I'd love to have you join my YouTube family by clicking that subscribe button and you can select your notification preferences by hitting the bell icon. Thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you back here soon in the lab for my next experiment.